Juan go. Montoya finishes third, of course. It's a 500 mile race. That's his <laughs> average for every race he ever runs in a 500 mile race. Increases his point lead, of course. Before the race started, those I had people saying, oh, you know what? I think he's starting to buckle a little under the pressure. I think it's getting to him. And I said, you obviously don't know Montoya very well. He don't ever buckle and nothing gets to him. And you drove a masterful race, stayed out of trouble and did exactly what you're supposed to do coming from 19th to third. Yeah, we did what we had. You know, we had a car probably to win the race. You know, our rising Chevy was really strong all day. But to be honest with you, there we're going at it like suicide mission and I thought it just you know where Dixon was running I just needed to open points from Dixon for me you know I, I felt bad for Graham having that accident but you know it's racing and it's part of it you know I went through that you know we had Sage gave you know a hand to everybody last race and you know that's what it is. Kid, was it as crazy as Fontana? It, it, it was exciting to watch. No, it was, and it was, it was, it was, it was the right balance because it was crazy enough, but it wasn't the way the track is. You're getting good enough drafts to pass people, but you can't go three, four, five wide into the corner. So I think the risk factor was a little lower. So I, I thought we have we have really good package here. You know, I think the Arrow kids, you know, keep showing how good they are. You know, I mean, people who were complaining and this and that, and you look at the Hondas, how strong they are. Again. And they're right there, you know. They they keep, you know, you keep hearing rumors. Oh, we need to redesign really the car. We need to just look. They're right there, everywhere, you know. They've won the last two races. Four of the last five. Four out of the last <laughs> five. Yeah, but they need to redesign the car for sure. <laughs> well, but the great thing about you for me is, since I've known you for a long time now, 17 years, is that when you came in, you wanted to lead every lap. You drove sideways, and you were the most th thrilling thing that had come along in 25 years. And now, with a little bit of gray hair. I'm and a, and a family, and gray, and less, <laughs> less, less than gray hair. You just, you figured it out, brother. You know how to win, and you know how to win championships, and that's that's the key is just being patient. Yeah, you gotta be. You still gotta, you know, step it up when you need to step it up. But you learn, uh, you know, you learn that uh, there's times that it's okay to finish second or finish third. You know, it's, is it tough for you with your personality to hang back? No, no, no. I, I had my my sour dose in NASCAR of hanging back. Yeah, so you know, I, I learned a thing or two. <laughs> All right, to quote A.J. Foyt, that damn Monterey is pretty good. We may have to keep an eye on him. Point leader heading for Sonoma. Hell of a job, kid. Thank you. Robin Miller, Racer.com. Thanks for watching.